through some tiny grout. I was going to do a little test. I've got my uh, once used pad. Just doing a couple of carpet rooms upstairs. So you can see. Okay, the new TRS AstroTurf pan with a profit machine. Now this was anomaly and flex with citrusol pre-sprayed about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Gonna work you see. Interesting stuff. On this one, you don't see it near as dramatic change as quick as it did on that last one. Um, there are little tiny thin grout lines that are still wet, but if you compare it to stuff I haven't done, to stuff I have, this is very obvious in person. It doesn't look as good on the uh, camera, but you can see the face. That side's not done. This little bit here is. Just a little section. Um, then more obvious. You know, this little section. So, as far as little thin grout lines there. So, even in those little thin grout grout lines that get good and it's still wet so it'll get brighter as it dries so so you can see the difference so, well you tell me did it work like a, it I, I looks can, I mean I can certainly tell the difference between the section you cleaned and the section you didn't yes ma'am I'm I was kind of liking it so yeah. And then we didn't have, I want to record this for the video real quick, but we noticed that there's newly, freshly painted walls, you know, taped off paper, nice furniture, and there was no splatters. I'm getting ready so. to do the Blockbuster store, and yeah, I'm going to try my profit. Um, but I've got uh, my Flex with Citrus Solve, a little anomaly, and I just added some P Radicator um, to see if it would, um, <coughs> on my next tiling grout test. Um, the last one went exceptionally well. She's already called the office, or she's supposed to call the office this morning and schedule to have her uh, tiling grout cleaned, which was the idea. Um, I'm going to do a little discreet area here at this Blockbuster store with permission from the manager and, uh, you know, just spray a little, uh, you know, on the grout lines and let it dwell for, you know, 30, 40 minutes while I'm cleaning. And see what I can do. Me spraying, so you can kind of see the volume I'm putting down. Hardly any on the, you know, just on the grout lines. So that area is wet and okay, that stuff sat here for at least 15 minutes that I sprayed on. And now I'm going to go switch to the CM, but I'll have my profit testing done for this pad. That's the TRS 
Astro Astro Turf. And then I'm gonna leave that splatters and John's got these in 19 inch and 12 inch. So these little areas, if I wanted to get my steps on, I don't have I don't have one yet. But if I wanted to do, you know, around counters, around toilets, stuff like that, and I didn't want to do it by all by hand, I can use the steps on. few days and I've done it a long time. As you can see one thing I can see is I gotta run both directions on these grout lines. But you can see the clean ones. And then I'm gonna do the CM with Blaze Pad Cap, my favorite some some P Rad in there. In no dwell time, I'll give it all a try. Well, you can see obviously the area that I did here with the uh, profit um, with dwell time and the grout lines. There's just a just a little difference, and you guys saw all the time I spent doing it. So um, I'm going to go ahead with no dwell time and just do that row right there, you know, right down the those two grout lines. Um, with just my P-Rad Blaze, I don't even have any uh, radicator mixed in there, so um, I do think that helps brighten up the grout, but we'll see. And that's the CM this time. Okay, I ran down, back the machine straight back, um, and then changed the pad, went down and straight back, all of about um, pr probably two and a half minutes. Uh, stretching it, and then I put a microfiber on to wipe it up. There's no reason not to do it with dwell time, but even just running over it. Pretty cool. You can see that going the other direction might help in some of these areas too, but I mean... Anyway, alright, I'm getting ready to go. Um, this area is where I let it dwell. Uh, that path I did just by pushing the machine down, brought it back, took a uh, microfiber down and back. The grout lines that I cleaned, grout lines that I didn't. You can see the difference in the faces by a lot. Okay, even over here where you've got no dwell, these two. All right, this is some tile and grout. Um, looks really, really clean to me. Um, let's get the phone with John. There's my quality van out there. 
um, doing this carpet and uh, kind of over neat you can see McKinley over in the background through the windows um, sorry anyway there's a section of tile that I sprayed with a couple ounces of Padcat Pro Blade no sorry um, Flex with Citrus Solve and some anomaly just a little light on the lines and uh, did turn on the machine before I started the video but um, I just did a little area right there um, but even even on this just being super clean grout I was blown away watching it from the when I first turned it on but you can even see lines on the face of it it's just uh, I mean this place looks spotless absolutely spotless and uh, you can just see the muddy tracks already from that loosening up anyway I'll clean it and then I'll dry it with a microfiber and spray it with some Padcat Pro Blaze all right I just cleaned that little section from about there to there you know right right in that area and this is the you know really clean tile at least I thought it was and then you can see where I started the grout lines and then over here the this is this is not done so you can see how clean it is but you can still see how clean it is where I cleaned it so it's even more Not, not touched, and it looks great. Touched, and it looks greater. <laughs> um, this is really impressive. These folks keep a really clean house anyway. Um, but then you can see how... Like that little astrogenic mm -hmm. and this is dried by now quite a bit different. You can see the tile super clean, but you can see where I clean too, huh? <laughs> it gets brighter afterwards. And then we're back to just the regular clean. Other than dwell time, just a couple minutes worth of work. Looks pretty awesome. It's on the sticky residue that I needed to take a picture of my pad. Um, there's my van. I just got it out. You can see um, the dirt on it. I have not rinsed it or anything in all the videos I've done. It's all been the same pad. It's just an AstroTurf. Heavy stitching. Looks like a, a floor buffer pad on the back. And see what it looks like when I rinse it off. I haven't ever put water on it before. Not a lot of dirt in it. I guess there's some. Seems to clean up pretty easy. Looks like I'm going to get a lot of uses out of it, but it's all new to me. Okay, Friday night I was getting ready to put the uh, CM in the car, and the carpet's got to dry a little bit anyway, so I'm <laughs> starting to notice there's actually tile in some of the houses I'm doing. Um, 
This stuff looks clean, and the reason I want to do it is just to see. And I'm just going to do pad cap blaze and some oxidizer and put it on and wipe it off and give it a little dwell time maybe while I vacuum. Um, this is the pad. Quick end because my battery on the phone died. But uh, it's a one minute scrub after a house has been cleaned by a uh, company for doing move outs. Now I'll get my mic dog bed back so you can see where where I stopped. Okay, get the grout. And this is four and a half, five minutes after I started, so I know these grout lines will get brighter. And if we go over here, this hasn't been done. So it hasn't been done. Has been done. Has not been done. Has been done. And you can see the head. Okay, this is after it's dried for at least 15 minutes, maybe 17, 18 minutes. I'm getting ready to leave. Less than three minutes worth of work. Almost dry, dirties. Clean. Dirty. Clean.